when I stumbled into recovery. I was beat up, broken, bruised. Uh, I had two black eyes, I had a fractured jaw, and that's when I knew that I had a problem and addiction was real. Learning the things you call to normal are more uncommon can be a tough pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. When walking recovery's rocky road, acceptance followed by understanding can be the keys needed to unlock doors to future opportunities. I sat down with an Arc City firefighter, four years sober, who wears his story as armor. I had an old timer tell me one time that uh, you don't want to be back in the wagon, you want to be in the middle so you don't fall out. Given the right presentation, a cliche can pack a powerful punch. I look back now and I'm just, I'm amazed that I made it this far. James McIntosh is in a place he never thought he'd see. My journey started at a young, young age. Um, alcoholic parents. Um, and it just kind of one thing led to another as a small child. It was like a, a mini bartender for my parents. A routine he thought was normal. Come on, mom, you know, just go, let's go back upstairs, go to bed, or, you know, same with my dad, he'd fall asleep in his chair. Addiction wasn't a thing until the older I got, until I understood exactly what I was living with. Still images show him today what he couldn't see then. A lot of the, the troubles I went through as a, as a small kid was normal, you know, running away, anger problems, going to CPS and going to boys' home, it was normal. I didn't, I didn't see it any other way until I got into recovery and I was like, wait a minute, that's, <laughs> that's not normal. Sobriety gave him clarity. To thy own self be true. And a craving for authenticity. In order for me to be comfortable telling my story, I had to accept what I couldn't change in my life and I, uh, I had to fall in, in love with myself again in order to love others. James is giving love to his family, his future wife and six children. I have three boys. I got a 12 year old, soon to be eight year old, and then a five year old. And then I got some stepdaughters. Uh, they are 12, 12 and five. Then there's the bond between his fellow firefighters. I know they, they have my back. In these last four plus years, what do you now know about James that you didn't know before? That I can do anything that I put my mind to. I couldn't, I couldn't do that before. Now, he's the one with words of wisdom. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, but you can leave the bucket. I never understood that until now. So if I can lead you to the water and leave the bucket, I'll do that. He's helping other addicts. The rest is on you. Help themselves. And James says just because he made it to EMT doesn't mean he's going to stop there. Mm -hmm. He plans to push all the way to medic and maybe even nursing. He says he'll go wherever the road to recovery leads him. All of these stories that you've done, they're just so powerful and show the difference when, like you said right there, you can lead someone to water, but you can't make them drink. But having that bucket there, yeah. that was just. Yeah. I had never heard that put into. I haven't it, yeah. Either. And I was like, wow. I was in there in the, in, in the interview and I was like, huh, this is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a pleasure uh, interviewing him. And we have some more stories this week. So I'm excited before we wrap up Recovery Month. Can't wait to see it.